Well, you've probably heard of Japanese knotweed, and most likely you've heard it's pretty bad news. Well, this is it. And this large perennial has certainly caused a lot of problems in the UK. So why is it so problematic? Let's find out. Japanese knotweed is originally from Eastern Asia. So how did it get all the way over here to the British Isles? Well, we can probably blame the Dutch botanist Philip von Siebold, who thought it would be a great idea to propagate the plant in his native Holland. In August 1850, an unexpected package arrived at the Royal Botanical Gardens at Kew. Inside, the then misunderstood knotweed. By 1854, it had made its way into the hands of the Royal Botanical Gardens in Edinburgh. This is when the real trouble started. The plants were distributed to commercial nurseries across the UK. Gardeners, overwhelmed by the plant's vigorous growth, discarded rhizomes, which subsequently established themselves spreading naturally along watercourses and artificially as a result of construction schemes. If it's any consolation, good old Philip von Siebold brought back only female plants. This means every knotweed in the country is a clone. Imagine what it would have been like if they reproduced sexually as well. So why is the stuff so bad? Well, first of all, it causes immense damage to structures. Foundations, walls, roads, you name it, it can grow through it. The plant is also so vigorous, it can block flood defenses that carry water. And not least of all, it's a huge threat to biodiversity. Fundamentally, its dense growth blocks out the light and space for other herbaceous plants, wreaking havoc in temperate ecosystems. And the trouble is, it's really hard to control. Knotweed can tolerate a huge range of soils. Its rhizomes can survive temperatures down to minus 35 degrees Celsius. And it's highly resistant to cutting, often reshooting and forming new plants. So, what are the best ways to control it? Well, there's two main ones. The first is herbicides, which can be pretty expensive. And the second is biological control, which is still not really fully understood. So where does that leave you and me? In the UK, it's illegal to intentionally plant or grow knotweed. So basically, don't touch the stuff. So the future of Japanese knotweed is uncertain. The moral of the story? Invasive species are pretty darn destructive. But some invasives do have redeeming features. That's a story for another episode. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Phil, and we're conservation biologists and the presenters of a new show called EcoSapien, which explores the importance of the natural world and biodiversity. If you like this episode, or any other, why not hit the subscribe button? We need all the help and support we can get to continue producing the huge array of videos we hope to make. Thanks for watching. <laughs>